the first day at school for our new, brand new loose lady. It's the wonderful Linda Bellingham. <laughs> How does it feel to be a loose woman? It's very exciting. You're no stranger to the show, obviously. I love this woman! <laughs> In fact, the one for me is Linda Bellingham. Oh, uh, I used to help my dad with the lambing, and there was this sheep, and I sometimes I had to put my hand, you know, like, um, all creatures against the So he said, feel around, Linda, and you'll feel the foot. And I don't know what it was. But it wasn't the foot, so I put it back in it. I have to, to disagree with you because no, I you think. Don't. Yes, I do. Yes, oh, I think I'd rather have that comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea. Hello, Jane. <laughs> um, the both rubbish. Jewelry. <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> Jewelry. <laughs> We've missed you. We have. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. missed yeah. you too. Oh, I was an animal following my. This is what's called milk in the gag. Shut up! Ah, oh, Linda Bellingham, loose legend, part of our family. And our next guest today is one of her actual family, her eldest son, Michael. Uh, here to tell us about his new job and share memories Hello. of his mum. And, Michael, hi, good to see you. And, you know, it's Hello. quite hard for us watching that because we had so much fun with your mum and, obviously, we were all terribly, terribly sad when she passed away and miss her so much. Um, it must be very difficult for you to watch that um, six years on now. How are you and your brother, Robbie? Well, we're very well, pleased to say. I must say it's, um, <laughs> it was emotional. I didn't think it would get me, but uh, watching that back was, was uh, very sad to see. But um, just for the record, I, I definitely didn't teach her those dance moves. <laughs> just, <laughs> just well, there must those have been times, hers, Michael, because we all talk about our children just get on the show. One out of the way straight away, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we all talk about our kids on the show. We say things sometimes we shouldn't. I mean, were there times when you and Robbie were like, Mom, no. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, I, I remember just I would be at a friend's house or I'd be out at work and there'd be a TV on in the background with you guys on it. You know, she's kind of followed me all the time. It was a big part of her life for those years that she was on the show, certainly. Oh, listen, well, we mentioned your brother, Robbie, there, um, because the two yeah. of you are working together now. Um, we are. <laughs> so, obviously, we knew you were an actor because, you know, we knew a lot about you th through your mum, Linda. So, tell us what's happened to acting. You... Yes. Why and why have you well, ended up in this in this <laughs> series, the Savoy, about the Savoy Hotel? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it was um, it was a decision I made uh, after many years of trying, and I, I, I had no regrets at all. But uh, I was made redundant last year, and it was a case of do I continue chasing this this dream of of you know being in movies or whatever have you? And and I spoke to my brother because I was looking for work, and he said, well, actually, they are looking for a new butler. And I thought, well, that sounds interesting. I never thought about it. But, you know, when an opportunity comes to work at somewhere like the Savoy, um, you don't take that lightly. Um, and, of course, I, I went through a number of interview processes and, and the rest is history. And uh, happy, very, very happy here. Well, listen, and the series has been so popular. Obviously, it had to stop because of lockdown. Um, but the final two episodes, we're going to see this Wednesday and Thursday on ITV. So let's just have a look at, at you in action. Indeed. The Savoy. It's very name synonymous with glamour... Hello, hello, hello. ..and exclusivity. But what really goes on behind those famous revolving doors? I didn't think anyone would scare me more than my father, but Sean, Sean does. He is scary. I asked you to check it. No, do you need to go out and smile again? No, I'm fine. Until more champagne arrives, Michael must eke out the only bottle. Offer the lady first. Champagne, madam. Show me how you can put the tray in front of me. Uh, well, I was just going to... So, what I really want to see a little bit of, and this is very... Performance. Nice. So, like a bit of a performance when mm -hmm. you go in, mm -hmm. and stand, mm -hmm. and offer. Yeah. Oh, wow. wonderful. Super. Oh. What have we got here then, Michael? So, we have smoked salmon with caviar and uh, cream cheese in the middle. Oh. <laughs> he did seem a bit picky there, but anyway, we'll, we'll move on. <laughs> but you and your brother are so alike, really, so I'm wondering, did the hotel guests get a bit confused, maybe, with the two of you there? Well, actually, yes. Um, it's interesting, especially when we're both working the same shift, when they arrive and the first person that greets them is my brother, and then I will run down to meet the guests to take them to their suite, and there is that double look where they, they kind of can't quite work out 
if we're related and then they realize we are uh, and i must say my brother quite play we play on that a little bit but in, in case anyone's wondering he's the one that's slightly taller and slightly better looking I have to say, so. <laughs> no. now i want to ask you about obviously your acting skills i've never thought about this but in the job you're doing now your acting skills obviously give you a bit of a you know head start I'd never realised that whole swirly business with the tray <laughs> and the canapes. What was the Chris. worst worst thing during your uh, learning, you know, during your training? What was the thing that really made you anxious? Uh, well, there were a few things. I don't know if we have enough time to talk about all of them. Um, <laughs> but I think I mentioned in the show, it's just having to do several, several things at once. Um, someone's calling you on the phone. Someone's speaking in your ear. You've got the iPod with requests from guests. It's uh, it's quite a, a juggling act, I have to say. Um, but one Michael, I'm that's what women do all the time. We call it multitasking. <laughs> oh, Michael, welcome say that. to our world. I knew you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Fair play. <laughs> Michael, I want to know about this secret lift. Oh, yes. Can you tell us about the secret, that? The secret, the secret lift. lift. Oh, the secret lift, the ele secret yeah. elevator. Yes. Ah, well, you know, a butler never tells. I can't, I can't go into too many, too many details. Sorry about that, guys. But there, yeah, there is a, there is a, 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 obviously we need to be in the hotel uh, in three different places at once, and uh, the secret, <laughs> the secret lift. You, that was a curveball. Uh, the secret <laughs> lift is is a way that we can move around the building faster to make sure that we're there for our guests. But you can Amazing. sneak. But you can sneak people in who don't want to be seen. I'm imagining. <laughs> yeah, can indeed. you in the secret exactly. lift? I mean, <laughs> exactly. I know you can't tell us who, about. but you know they'll be top know celebrities. <laughs> Sorry. Uh Michael, I was just going to say, I love going into Savoy. I feel a bit posh when I go in there. Yeah. How do you feel when you turn up at that lovely hotel for work? Well, uh, you know, it, again, it's that performance. It lends itself to the role very well. Um, you know, when you come out and you see Count Peter there in all his glory um, and you, you go into those marble hallways, you, you can't help but feel that Savoy sparkle. And uh, I think if you asked all of the staff here, um, and the team, that, that really is what helps us get up, especially on a dark, dreary morning at 5.30 a.m., um, is, is coming to work in a place like the Savoy. It's a British institution, 130 years now. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's fabulous. I, I, I wake up every day and I, I, you know, I'm very, very proud that, and, and lucky, especially at this time with what everyone is going through, to still have a job and to be working at somewhere like the Savoy. Yeah. And Michael, we know um, you know how close you and your brother are, and how much your mum loved you both because she talked about you all the time on Loose Women. What do you think she'd make of the two of you actually working together now? Well, I think she'd be glad that we're we're together. Um, she actually did a show at the Savoy Theatre way back. Um, I'm trying to remember. It was either Look No Hands or Noises Off. Forgive me, I can't remember which one. But obviously, after the show every evening, she would go to the American Bar. She would hold court as she does. <laughs> as members uh, have a, a, a drink or two um, and so yeah there's that connection as well and I remember when my my first day I started um, Tony uh, the doorman probably the most famous doorman in London uh, came over to me and shook my hand and, and mentioned mum you know and, and how we would make sure that she got home every evening in a taxi and so I thanked them for that, obviously. Uh, so it was um, yeah it, it's I'm, close close in the family. I'm sure there are many 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 things you miss about your mum but is there one thing in particular that you really miss? Well, um, you know, there are many things and I think anyone watching the show, if you've lost someone, ne they never leave you. They're with you all the time in, in the little things and the big things that we do. Um, and I know it might be a bit of a cliche given the Oxo adverts, but genuinely, I miss the cooking. Um, <laughs> I miss the, the homemade dinners, especially the Sunday lunches. Uh, which were a big thing in our family. Um, and I wish I'd paid a bit more attention when she was teaching me her, her, um, her, you know, uh, her meals and everything yeah. and giving me tips because I, you know, you think they're going to be around forever. So, uh, yes, I definitely miss everything about her, but yeah. particularly, particularly the cooking. So she really was the Oxo mum, you know, she wasn't just doing that in the advert, you know, you were all around right. at hers for Sunday lunch. <laughs> uh, Michael, listen, it's fascinating hearing about your career change. We're absolutely loving uh, the Savoy. And again, I said the final two episodes, Wednesday and Thursday at nine. Say hi to Tony the doorman for us and Sean <laughs> the will. head butler. You know, make sure we get you know, Sean. looked after next time. <laughs> and we can we park oh, there with the Savoy? Um, <laughs> and love to Robbie as well. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate You're it. Very Thank well. you so bye bye. Bye bye. bye.